Hey guys, Colby from Muffler Tech again, and I'm gonna do a video today uh, again on stolen catalytic converters, but uh, the subject vehicle is a little bit different and may be surprising to a lot of you. So Priuses are still uh, very prevalent and still our number one um, speaking to vehicles that we see for stolen cats. And then over here in the distance, uh, you can see all those Honda Accords there. Uh, that would be our number two most stolen cat vehicle that comes into the shop. Uh, these cars are all waiting here for insurance approval. But uh, today's video is going to be specifically about motorhomes. And uh, I feel that uh, it's, it's our responsibility to let people know that these are now um, really high on the list, um, you know, potentially number three of vehicles that we're replacing catalytic converters on now for, um, for stolen parts. So I have covered a lot of things about vehicles that have been parked um, due to COVID-19 and, and a lot of stuff around that. Um, Motorhomes uh, have gained a fair amount of popularity uh, since the, the pandemic has started. Uh, the values have shot through the roof. People are interested in getting out and doing things they can do. Uh, people aren't able to go on regular vacations. Um, that being said, motorhomes aren't driven every day. So they're parked a lot, they sit in storage, um, and it, uh, it makes them a, a prime target. People aren't watching them. Their awareness isn't, uh, isn't very high until they go to use them for a weekend trip or whatever they're doing with them. And so um, what I want to talk to you today about is the vehicles that are on the target list. Not all motorhomes are susceptible to this problem, at least not as of right now. Um, and as you can see, the one behind me uh, is specifically a Ford product. So let's talk about uh, why Ford is... Uh, is uh, seemingly number one around the motorhome theft on, uh, on catalytic converters. So we've already repaired this one, um, but let's, uh, let's show you what we're, what we're dealing with here. I'm gonna get underneath and uh, you can see, first thing I want you to notice is, is how easy it is here, how much room there is underneath. Um, and what you can see here is, is, is the actual cat itself that we recently replaced. Now this particular customer chose not to add any of our roll bar protection around this part. Um, I, I would say that's uh, something I'd recommend just about everybody. Uh, and if you can look at some of my other videos I've done, it shows what roll bar is and, and kind of the idea behind the protection. Um, but uh, I wanted to illustrate how easy it is to get into there and take that part. So a question that I often get is, is why are Ford motorhomes targeted along with uh, F-250s, F-350s, E-350s, E-250s, um, gasoline variants of these vehicles? And, and you can see um, the difference between what we've got down here, which is just a standard size catalytic converter, which is put on most vehicles, including trucks, and then you see the, uh, the Ford unit replacement part uh, behind it there, uh, how much larger it is. So to give you a reference, I put my size 11 here in, in the view and uh, you can get kind of an idea on uh, what these look like. So uh, standard cat, of course, about the size of my, my foot and uh, the, uh, the Ford gas unit there. This is what uh, is well known in the industry as, as the torpedo um, for pretty obvious reasons and uh, you can see the size. Now, very important to understand that size doesn't necessarily justify the recyclable dollar amount that's associated with a cat, but the Ford specifically has material in it that uh, recycles at a pretty high value currently. So I took a trip up the street here to our friends at BNL RV, and I'm gonna go ahead and walk through some of their inventory, give you guys some ideas on uh, what, what uh, motorhomes we should be um, cautious of. So the very first one I walk up to, okay, E450. This is gonna be a gasoline 6.8 liter V10 uh, Ford chassis motorhome, Class C. Um, potentially one of the most popular motorhomes um, that is built, at least modernly speaking. And uh, just like that one I showed you, I'll show you as we walk underneath here. There's a... Uh, an aftermarket cat that we've already replaced because this one was stolen. This particular uh, RV lot is um, a pretty high target area. These, these guys have struggled with uh, keeping their lot secure. Uh, right next to us here, same example, we're right back into it. There's that Triton V10. 
E450, um, same catalytic converter, so high target on this one. Just kind of walk back on the lineup here. Here's an E350, that one's a target. Um, kind of an unusual uh, Class C there is a, is a Dodge Dakota based platform, but uh, besides that one, all the way down this lineup, every single one of these is a prime target for theft. So I mentioned Class C. Uh, this is a Class A, and uh, being that this is a, a uh, Ford-powered chassis, I want to make sure that everybody's aware that you're not immune if you're driving a Class A. You got to look at that Ford V10 logo, and same thing. Let's get under here and take a look. That isn't a torpedo, but it is still going to be targeted because of the gas Ford V10 power plant. So just because you don't have a Class C, e, uh, you are not out of the woods. Let's uh, scan by here. Here's another target. Uh, same thing we've been talking about, E450. But along those lines too, if you have a Class B that's Ford powered, and this is a Class B, same thing. We're gonna look at that Triton V10. Uh, this Chinook Class B is uh, also a target. Uh, this one's a little rough around the edges, but another example of a Class A that is 100% uh, something to be concerned about. And um, an easy way to tell is, uh, look at that right there, that Triton V10. Now, if you're not sure what powers your motorhome, especially being in Class A, because they tend to be a little bit more elusive around who makes them, um, you just want to find out if you've got a Ford engine or a, uh, a Chevy or a Dodge power plant. Um, gasoline motorhomes are uh, mostly, at least again in modern production, mostly powered by the, uh, the Triton V10. Some of them use the, the 5.4 liter Ford. So this is an example of another Ford product. This is a Class A, it's a little bit easier to, to recognize potentially as a Ford product. It actually has Ford F-150 headlights in it. Um, but, you know, to keep in mind, uh, uh, the, the big concern here around motorhomes isn't going to be something like this country coach. This is a diesel pusher. Uh, this vehicle actually, probably by year, doesn't even have a cat. Um, no, no emissions control on these uh, earlier diesel pushers. One next to it, the Allegro bus, that's gonna be a pusher. Uh, even with a catalytic converter on these, they're not targeted. Uh, diesel catalytic converters are, are not something that comes up. Um, here we go on that distance again. And this just gives you kind of an idea, um, walking around an RV lot, uh, how many Class C, Class B, and even Class A uh, motorhomes are powered by Ford. And so, uh, really, so many of these become targets for theft. So, let's recap. So, uh, coming back from the RV lot, uh, I was able to show you um, kind of the, the numbers and, and what we're looking at. Um, really, uh, n absolutely know that, again, I don't want to alarm anybody with this, and I don't want everybody to think that has an RV um, is susceptible to this um, this theft, at least at, at the moment anyway. Um, but if you drive a Ford product um, in an RV or in a, in a van chassis or a, a, a three-quarter ton, one-ton Ford truck type chassis, uh, and it's a gasoline engine, either the 5.4 or the 6.8, um, then you're 100% a target and you should take steps to, uh, to make sure that you're protected. Now, um, Muffler Tech as a business, we offer, um, uh, uh, what we do is we, we form and shape roll bar tubing around the catalytic converter uh, and weld it so that it makes it very difficult to saw through the, the exhaust pipe to get it off. Um, exhaust pipe is penetrated very easily by a sawzaw, uh, power reciprocating saw, um, and putting roll bar tubing around that um, area doesn't make it uh, impossible to cut through, but it makes it a lot more difficult. And if you, uh, if you, if you check out our channel, um, I've done a lot of other videos. We use roll bar as a very universal kind of a protection piece, uh, and it's worked um, quite well on motorhomes. So if that's something you're interested in doing, um, come and see us here at Muffler Tech in Sacramento. We'd love to help you with that. Um, but uh, keep in mind, guys, RVs, uh, the, the, Ford, the Ford chassis stuff, um, 
and and you're not necessarily immune albeit the the class c is is the most popular because there's the more of them um, you're certainly not immune if you have a class a or a class b either so listen hey thanks for watching um check us out at stolencats.com if you want to get to our website um uh, please like and subscribe if you find this information helpful share it uh, we're trying to grow this channel i'm going to continue to do more of these and uh, keep people updated on this uh rather unfortunate crime have a great day guys